Here is your pitch around for this week. How many of the following biscuits can you name correctly? If you want to enter the raffle and you haven't already done so, please enter your quiz name and your name onto the chat function below. The main quiz will be starting at 8.30. This is your two minute warning. The quiz will start in two minutes. Hello and welcome to this week's quiz. I hope you enjoyed the biscuit round. Um, who doesn't love a good biscuit? Um, if you haven't put your team name in the chat function and want to enter the raffle, if you make sure that you do so now, um, and then we can get that drawn at the end of the quiz. Um, so we're gonna have the usual four rounds of questions and then a quick break, and then we'll come back and give you the answers. That'll then be followed by the raffle, um, which I'll be doing for the first time. So uh, what could go wrong? Um, I'm going to make a start then. We'll start with the general knowledge as we usually do. So if you've got your pens and paper ready, um, we'll get going. So question one, name the Roman God of the sea. Name the Roman God of the sea. Question two, Hamilton has become one of the biggest musical theatre shows of all time since it debuted in 2015. But what is the name of the acclaimed star who wrote it? So Hamilton is one of the biggest musical theatre shows. Who wrote it? Question three, how many permanent teeth does a dog have? How many permanent teeth does a dog have? Question four, what is the most sold flavour of Walker's crisps? 
What is the most sold flavour of Walker's crisps? Question five. Noel and Liam Gallagher from Oasis have an older brother. What's his name? So what is the name of Noel and Liam Gallagher from Oasis, older brother? Question six. How many horses are on each team in a polo match? How many horses are on each team in a polo match? Question seven. What is the largest landlocked country in the world by size? What is the largest landlocked country in the world by size? Question eight, a glossectomy is the removal of all or part of which body part? So a glossectomy is the removal of all or of part of which body part? Question nine, which fashion designer, designer even, reportedly had a relationship with Winston Churchill? Which fashion designer reportedly had a relationship with Winston Churchill? And your last question, question 10. With over 222 million units sold, what is Apple's highest selling iPhone model? So over 222 million units sold, what is Apple's highest selling iPhone model? Okay. Uh, so I hope I've not done that down too much. Um, I must admit, when I was looking for questions, I made sure that I could pronounce everything that I was reading out. Um, anyway, on to the next round.
Okay, so now it's time for your food and drink round. Uh, there's 10 questions in this round as normal. And we'll start with question number one. Which of the following chocolate bars does not contain nuts in its ingredients list? Is it Snickers, Double Decker, Picnic or a Toblerone? So which of the chocolate bars do not contain nuts in its ingredients lists? So is it Snickers, a Double Decker, Picnic or a Toblerone? Okay, question number two. What is a spoot? What is a spoot? Question number three, what does APA stand for when it comes to beer? What does APA stand for when it comes to beer? Question number four. Which pungent plant has its own festival held on the Isle of Wight every year? Which pungent plant has its own festival held on the Isle of Wight each year? Okay, question number five. What is the main ingredient of the curry tarka dal? What is the main ingredient of the curry tarka dal? Question number six. What drink is it bad luck to toast with? What drink is it bad luck to toast with? Question number seven. What type of fruit is a damson? What type of fruit is a damson? Question number eight. Chives are a member of which family of vegetables? Chives are a member of which family of vegetables? Question number nine. What is the most popular dish served in the Rover's Return? What is the most popular dish served in the Rover's Return? Uh, 
question number 10. How much does a double cheeseburger from McDonald's currently cost in the UK? How much does a double cheeseburger from McDonald's currently cost in the UK? Okay, so now we're going to display those questions on the screen and you've got a couple of minutes just to go through your answers before we move on to the next category. Hello, so your next round is animals um, and we'll crack on. So question one, slugs have four what? Slugs have four what? Question two, what are young bats called? What are young bats called? Question three, how many tentacles does a squid have? How many tentacles does a squid have? Question four, what snake builds a nest? What snake builds a nest? Question five, what is the most commonly eaten insect in the world? So which insect gets eaten the most in the world? Question six, the road runner belongs to which family of birds? The road runner belongs to which family of birds? Question seven. 
What is the only insect that can turn its head? So which insect is the only one that can turn its head? Question eight, the angel shark has what other name? So what is an angel shark also known as? Question nine, a muster is a group of what? So a group called a muster is what? And your final question, question 10. What is the most varied species on the planet? So what is the most varied species on the planet? There we go, a nice short and sweet one. Um, we'll see how many you get right at the end. Okay, so this is your TV and film round for this week. Ten questions again and we'll get cracking. Number one, which film tells the story of an American post-apocalyptic event starring Will Smith, who plays Robert Neville? So which film tells the story of an American post-apocalyptic event starring Will Smith, who plays Robert Neville? Question number two, which actor links the films The Da Vinci Code, X-Men, as well as the TV show Coronation Street? So which actor links the films The Da Vinci Code and X-Men, as well as the TV show Coronation Street?
question number three. Which Netflix series is based on a book by Shirley Jackson? Which Netflix series is based on a book by Shirley Jackson? Question number four. What children's TV programme provided the BBC with a third of their profits in 1997? So which TV, children's TV programme provided the BBC with a third of their profits in 1997? Question number five. Which Miss USA 1972 starred as Wonder Woman? Which Miss USA 1972 starred as Wonder Woman? Question number six. Hugh Grant plays the character Daniel Cleaver in which rom-com? So Hugh Grant plays the character Daniel Cleaver in which rom-com? Question number seven. In the Star Trek series, what is the middle name of Captain James Kirk? In the Star Trek series, what is the middle name of Captain James Kirk? Question number eight. Don't panic is a catchphrase associated with which BBC series? So don't panic is a catchphrase associated with which BBC series? Question number nine. In the TV comedy, The Royal Family, what instrument does Jim Royal like to play? In the TV comedy, The Royal Family, which instrument does Jim Royal like to play? And question number 10. Which TV series was broadcast first? Was it The X Factor, Dancing on Ice or Strictly Come Dancing? So which of the following TV series was broadcast first? Was it The X Factor, Dancing on Ice or Strictly Come Dancing?
Okay, so we're going to give you another couple of minutes just to go through your answers before we hand over to Maria for the next category. So this week's specialist round is The Simpsons. Uh, it beat Road Signs by one vote. So it was really, really close this week. Pretty certain we'll see Road Signs on the list of uh, suggestions next week again. Um, so we'll get started with questions about The Simpsons. So question one. As of 2017, The Simpsons held the record for the longest running primetime animated TV series. But what other record does it hold? So as of 2017, The Simpsons held the record for the longest running primetime animated TV series. But what other record does it hold? Question two. In 1998, Time magazine named which Simpsons character one of the most influential people of the century. In 1998, Time magazine named which Simpsons character one of the most influential people of the century? Question three. In 1990, this song was a hit. It wasn't long ago, just a couple of weeks I got in trouble, yeah, pretty deep Homer was yelling, mom was too Because I put mothballs in the beef stew Punishment time in the air lurks gloom Sitting by myself, confined to my room When all else fails, nothing else left to do I turn on the music so I can feel the... What was it called? So this song was a hit Question four, which famous singer was it that co-written and produced it? What, sorry, start again. Which famous singer was it co-written and produced by? So which famous singer was it co-written and produced by? Question five, what is this character's name? What is this character's name?
Question six. What month and year was the first episode of The Simpsons aired? So which month and year was the first episode of The Simpsons aired? Question seven. What year was the Simpsons movie released? What year was the Simpsons movie released? Question eight. In 2009, Marge Simpson featured on the cover of which magazine? In 2009, Marge Simpson featured on the cover of which magazine? Question nine, which cartoon inspired the Itchy and Scratchy show? Which cartoon inspired the Itchy and Scratchy show? And your last question, question 10. What is the name of the beer Homer Simpson likes to drink? What is the name of the beer Homer Simpson likes to drink? So that concludes your quiz for this evening. We're going to take a short break now and then we'll come back, we'll do the answers and then we'll go live for the raffle. Okay, so that's all your questions for this week. We're going to take a quick five minute break now.